All right, our crossbow tips series continues here on Death by Bungie. How to always make a good shot with your crossbow. That's this episode of Death by Bungie. I did another video on 10 tips for crossbow success. Make sure you watch that if you haven't done so already. I just want to share with you, however, an additional video. This video is all about 10 tips on how to always make a good shot with your crossbow. Now, there is no guarantee in this. That's obvious. Uh, any kind of hunting, whether it's archery or otherwise, does have some risk, does have some room for error. But there's both human error and sometimes there's mechanical error. This video is about 10 ways that you can apply these tips and make sure that you get the most out of your crossbow hunting, but the most likelihood of making a good shot when you head into the woods with your crossbow. My number 10 tip on how to always make a good shot with your crossbow is to only shoot when the deer is stopped. Now that applies to any animal, if at all possible, but a moving target, a moving deer, is not an easy thing to make a good shot on. In some places it's legal to bait. You may want to try to use bait in order to get those animals to stop in a certain location before you pull the trigger. Food plots are great for this as well. When a deer is grazing through a food plot with its head down, when that deer stops and is holding steady, that's when to make a good shot. I know on the crossbow scope, like bungees here, there is little arrows that are supposed to help you take a shot on a deer that is walking at a steady pace. I never take that shot. I don't use that. I only shoot at stopped deer, deer that aren't moving. Number nine, only shoot when the deer is looking away or more importantly, when it's not looking at you. I have taken a shot or two over the last uh, six years of hunting with Bungie here, where I shot at a deer that was looking, that was on, a, that was alert, that was looking in my direction. And most of the time it's ended up okay, but that is one of the things that can really create a problem. Deer have incredible reflexes. They can drop like nobody's business. I showed you a hunt last year where I shot a deer and ended up hitting her in the spine because I pulled the trigger, that deer was alert, it was looking toward me, and when I pulled the trigger, that deer actually dropped about four inches before the arrow got there. And I don't care how fast a crossbow you have, speed is no exception, it is no excuse for taking a bad shot. In my case, I should have waited until that deer was either looking away or went back to eating or something like that before I pulled the trigger. And that's one of my tips here for you, only shoot at deer that are not looking directly at you. Look, shoot at deer or any animal when it's looking away. Number eight, Try and get good form when you're shooting your crossbow. Practice is a big part of this, of course, but don't drop the crossbow. As soon as you pull the trigger, don't drop the crossbow and look to see where the arrow went. Watch the arrow through the scope, if at all possible. That's one of the things I love about this. I can force myself to keep my eyes open, and when I pull the trigger, I can look through the scope and watch that arrow hit the target. It's really, really neat, especially when you're taking a shot like a 40 yards, when you can actually see that arrow go through the air when it hits the targets. One of the things about crossbows that differs from rifles is that it has forward recoil. And what I mean by that, when you shoot a rifle, is that uh, bullet goes down the barrel, it's kicking you back a little bit. It's different with a crossbow. Crossbows have forward recoil. As this string goes forward and pushes that arrow out the front of the crossbow, as the string travels down the rail, eventually it gets to the point where the limbs are tight and it's pulling the crossbow slightly forward a little bit. It's a different kind of recoil. And for that reason, you don't need to flinch at all when you pull the trigger on a crossbow. You're not going to catch that scope in your eye uh, when you pull the trigger on a crossbow. Instead, it's going to actually pull the scope away from your eye a little bit. Don't flinch. You can just watch the arrow. It's a lot of fun to force yourself to watch that arrow, and it will help you make good shots every time. Number seven, practice regularly and sight your crossbow in regularly. You know, throughout the season, I actually will try and shoot it at least once a week to make sure that it's shooting dead on still. 
one of the things about practicing with a crossbow, obviously you don't have to spend as much time practicing with a crossbow as you do with a compound bow, a vertical bow. They're a whole different animal, and that's one of the reasons I love the crossbow, because I simply don't have time to go out there and spend the hours each week that are necessary to get good with a compound bow. Crossbow doesn't require me to do that, and that's why I love the crossbow. I'm not going to apologize for it, it's just the way it is. I love the crossbow because I don't have to do that. But that does not mean that you don't have to practice with it. you got to make sure that you're comfortable with this thing and that you can hit, like I always say, hit a quarter at 40 yards or whatever range you intend to hunt at. If you're going to shoot deer only within 20 yards, just make sure you can hit your target at 20 yards each time that you feel comfortable doing that. But make sure you sight in. Strings on any crossbow will stretch, even if they're older strings, even if they're pre-stretched, even if they stretched out and you've used them for a while, they will stretch over time. Things will adjust. You can watch the, the where the string is on the rail there, keep an eye on that, make sure that it looks like it's supposed to look, but nothing is a substitute for shooting that crossbow semi-regularly, at least once a week, to make sure that it's still dead on accurate. Number six, know your distances. You have to know how far away your target is or you cannot make good shots. Now, if you can afford one, get a rangefinder. Any decent rangefinder in this day and age will be worth its weight in gold, in my opinion, when it comes to making accurate shots with your crossbow. If you are shooting at a target that's 20 yards away and you've got it on the 30-yard reticle, that isn't going to cut it. You are going to be off. It's that simple. And it can make the difference between taking a deer home with you and not. So make sure that you know your distances. Distance has almost everything to do with accuracy when it comes to a crossbow. It's very important. Number five, aim small, miss small. This is one of my tips in another video I just did uh, recently about my 10 tips for crossbow success. But accuracy is everything with a crossbow. And aim small, miss small is a big part of that. When I was a kid and I started hunting here in northeastern Pennsylvania, with a rifle everybody when I went to my hunter safety class the common wisdom was the common statement was you just aim at the deer's shoulder you want to shoot the deer in the shoulder that isn't going to cut it with archery equipment you have to be not aiming at a particular body part like the shoulder I'm aiming at the little fold behind the shoulder it's basically right above their elbow where there's a little triangle there and I can see it and I try to look for that every time I pull the trigger you're aiming for a little spot on that deer and that's the spot you're gonna hit make sure that that's what you're doing don't just move the crossbow around here get it close and pull the trigger you want to be aiming for that specific spot once that deer is stopped and in position you'll see the spot you're looking for and then that that is what you're going to aim at. Aim small, miss small. Number four, on a related note, know your anatomy of your target. Know a deer's anatomy before you go out there and start hunting. Mike Tyson once said, I understand anatomy. And what he meant by that was, I know where to hit a guy in order to do the most damage. And it's kind of the same thing when you're hunting with a crossbow. You need to understand the deer's anatomy so that you can aim small, miss small, so that you know where to place that arrow. Every year before the crossbow season starts up again, I refresh my memory, I go back on, I Google search deer anatomy, and I look at all the pictures, probably the same pictures you look at when you go and look at those things. But it's very important to refresh your recollection as to where those lungs are, where the heart is located, at different angles, so that you know where to place those shots when it comes time to pull the trigger. There's still some disagreement on that, and I see different uh, recommendations from different people. Uh, maybe down the road here I'll do a video and explain to you where I aim on a deer. But the important thing is that you need to understand anatomy. You need to understand the anatomy of the animal that you're hunting and where you are aiming before you go out into the woods with your crossbow. Number three, don't let filming get in the way of your success. I really enjoy filming my own hunts. I really enjoy being outdoors with a camera. I love bringing back that video and sharing it with other people. And it's a really, really useful tool when you're tracking a deer to go back and look at whether you made a good shot or not. And that way you can decide whether you want to track that deer immediately or maybe wait a little bit longer. It's a great tool, filming is, not just for sharing with other people, but also for when, you, when it comes time to track that deer. Practice with your camera equipment ahead of time so you're not fiddling with that when it comes time to line up a good shot. Practice with your crossbow equipment too so you're not trying to learn on the job. But the important thing is, is have that stuff ready and don't take the shot with the crossbow, don't pull the trigger unless you are confident that everything else is taken care of. Don't rush the camera stuff, don't rush the crossbow stuff. Sometimes you gotta pick between filming and hunting. Don't let it get in the way of making a good shot with your crossbow. 
My number two tip on how to always make a good shot with your crossbow is set yourself up for success. If you hunt in a tree stand, set that tree stand up in a spot where you got plenty of room to move around with your crossbow, get in there and practice a little bit with it to make sure that you feel comfortable with it before you go out there into the hunt. Also, if you're hunting in a blind, do you have enough room to move around? Where are you going to put your camera tripod? Do you have enough room to have that next to you or not? Plan all that stuff out ahead of time. Spend the time necessary to set yourself up for success. That includes clearing out the little branches and giving yourself some good shooting lanes. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in the off season that makes crossbow hunting a lot of fun in my opinion. But that's what you want to do. Set yourself up for success and that's a great way to help yourself make a good shot. And my number one one tip for always making a good shot with your crossbow is if at first you don't succeed try try again that goes not just for practicing out in the yard when you're taking a shot at your target but in addition to that just because you get out there and you have that ultimate inevitable bad case scenario where you lose a deer or other animal it's going to happen if you hunt long enough there's just no way around it and i don't care whether it's with a crossbow a regular bow a rifle what have you you're going to lose deer it's just the way it is but if you don't succeed don't let that ruin the outdoors for you don't let that ruin crossbow hunting for you get back in the saddle get back on that crossbow start working with it figure out what went wrong be honest with yourself about what went wrong was it you was it the equipment if it wasn't the equipment and it was you, take responsibility for it because you got to recognize what the problem is before you can fix it and go out there again. Well, there you have it. My top 10 ways to make sure you always make a good shot with your crossbow. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have anything to add, leave a comment here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like our Facebook page for regular updates there on Death by Bungie's Facebook page. And until next time, all hail Bungie!